Okay guys, Jets are here. So, a lot of you have been uh, wondering what I've been doing before I was a colorist. Of course, I, uh, I've been a wedding videographer for the past uh, nine years and I switched to color grading full-time around last year so probably may be asking uh, Jeff sir I'm a wedding videographer I want to know how to color grade my wedding videos okay so you want to enhance your videos so here is a demonstration of how I color grade my wedding videos uh, my thought process behind it and what I uh, hope you guys can learn from it so here we go okay guys so I know that a lot of you have been asking me how to do a color grade for a wedding. So it all depends on your client, it all depends on your style as a videographer, but as much as possible, let's try to make weddings more romantic, more beautiful, and have a uh, more pleasing image, something that the couple can remember by. So uh, first off, if we notice, uh, if we look at this image, this is actually a clip of the groom uh, coming to uh, arrive to see his bride and the bride looks back oh you're here okay so what have you noticed in this image so if you look we have a blown out sky we have a barren uh, piece of land right here although we have some lovely trees but we have some barren land here and probably here we'll try to fix that as well but we're gonna focus on this area and the sky so first off we are going to check if our highlights are blown so let's look again at our waveform okay so it's a little bit clipped so we're gonna adjust that by adjusting the gain bringing that down okay now we have a good uh no more clipping but let's adjust the rest of the image okay, so we're gonna bring that up we make sure we have shadows okay and yeah, let's probably add a bit of saturation. So let's call this node exposure. Let's uh, create another node for saturation. Because, you know, the image seems a little bit uh, flat and or it's not actually flat, it's a little bit neutral. So probably add a little bit more. There we go. So we have a good color right here. Now we can see more blue from the sky. Okay, but it still seems a little bit blown out. So if you can see, it's around here. It's uh, the sky is primarily on the uh, 90 to 100 percent IRE level. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna call this node sky. So we're gonna select um, just the highlights of this image. So we go to our qualifier and set our luminance down. As you're slow, uh, we're gonna set lower, lower, as much as possible, we only have the sky. There we go. So now we just have the sky. We are going to make sure, we're gonna spread it out, we're gonna reduce the gamma. So you can see we're spreading out the data that is all up there in the 90%. We're gonna uh, spread it out so that we can see more of the clouds. Get add a little bit more contrast to it. Put it down. If you look at our image, see before and after we now have clouds okay compared to before now let's create another node um, it's called this barren because we're going to fix the barren land in this area so first off we're going to use a window we're going to use the power window we call this uh, the curve window and we're going to select that barren land but first we have to go to our very first uh, the clip which has most of the data okay we're gonna zoom out using the mouse wheel and I guess the angle is gonna go beyond this so we're gonna select that and then we are going to track it so we could track backward uh, the thing about resolve is that you can track in 3d so when you do some tracking it automatically tracks in 3D so we could actually track that back okay so we now have proper tracking of the barren land now if you notice uh, there's a little bit of greens then we have that uh, the dress of the bride we're just gonna select the brown color the brown area so right now if you can see let's remove the green area there we go so we now have this barren area and we're gonna turn it to green so we remove the highlight using the highlight button over here uh, first off, we have to turn it to green. So let's just adjust the offset, make it color green. 
Make sure the green matches the other rest of the green. And there we go. Here you could also adjust the saturation. Okay. This is uh, what we did for the color correction. So this is before. This is after. Okay, now that we have a nice image, we have a nice color. Next up is we're going to uh, isolate the skin tones that we're going to be using later. So let's select the skin. Okay, so let's uh, turn on the highlight. Okay, so we have the skin on the groom. Let's uh, clean that up. There we go. Now we just have, we have isolated just the skin of the bride and the groom. There we go. We're going to use this, we're going to label this uh, skin. Okay. So now that we have the skin tone isolated, let's create uh, a certain look. So, we, uh, for example, the couple wants it to look a lot more vintage, something uh, romantically vintage. So we're going to use uh, a lot of mine from the iridescence pack. We're going to use from the custom made lots and we're going to use vintage. Okay, now that we have that turned on, so we have this kind of uh, look. So you can see... Uh, Maybe asking Jeps, why did we make this uh, barren land green when we're just going to change it? Of course, uh, if you notice, if we take that off, it will still look barren without it. So it still looks kind of green, but it just looks more vintage. Okay, now you may notice that uh, our skin tones seem to be a lot more reddish than uh, usual. If you turn this off, if you look at the skin tone. It becomes a little bit reddish so we want to retain the skin tone so how do we retain the skin tones we're going to create a uh, adjustment uh, a layer node so we go to color nodes and then we go to uh, add layer node now once we have that layer node just like in photoshop but in resolve is a bit reverse whatever node is below the upper node that is the node that is uh, most seen so if you want to add a sort of alpha uh, channel to that node could just use the qualifier to select for example skin now without having going through the painstaking process of doing the skin uh, isolation or qualifying it again you could just drag the alpha from the skin uh, node into the new layer node and now we have proper skin tone okay now it's, it looks a little bit awkward because uh, it's the skin stands out too much now we could key or we could tone down the intensity of that uh, probably uh, mix it more with the LUT, probably, probably 0.7, there we have it. So if you have a before and after, we have uh, nicer skin tones than before. Okay, you can also adjust the LUT, if you don't think the LUT is uh, too heavy on the vintage, you could probably point um, 65 or probably make it higher, something like this. Okay, so it's uh, 0.9, 0.88, there we go. So we still have a lot of green and then we have a lot of, looks more vintage as uh, it should. So let's uh, see the whole node graph again. Now it's a little bit dark so we're going to just, we're going to call this the global adjustment. And we're going to adjust the brightness. If you notice, uh, it seems that the left side of our image is darker than the right side. If you actually look here in a waveform, that is actually what's going on. So we're going to select just the gradient uh, window. If you look at the gradient window, if you check the highlight and see uh, the black and white highlight, and if you go back to the window, it actually see where that ends. All right. So. Look at the waveform, probably let's choose up to here. Okay, now probably to here. Okay, so we're going to raise the um, that area. Probably the gamma, the lift, and just match it with the rest of the image. Okay. There. Do we need to, what do you call this? Do we need to track it? I don't think so. So if you see a before and after, see, it looks more romantic. It looks much brighter, it looks better, and I have a more beautiful image. Now, you can actually, now that we have this, 
uh, we have the lot you can actually let me make the sky more blue so we're going to look for the hue versus hue right here in the custom curves and probably like this area yep we're gonna add saturation to that and uh, spread this out it's the other side there we have it we have a nicely colored wedding clip so if you want to see what it looks before and what it looked like after this is how I color grade my weddings Okay guys, I hope you got something from that video and I hope it enhances your wedding videos to make it uh, look more romantic and more pleasing for your couples. So if you have any questions, if you have uh, any suggestions, don't forget to comment. And then if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to know more and if you want to get uh, the most recent updates, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So that's it guys, and I'll see you again.